What's going on, Clitch? Squat! What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Duck. It's your boy, Ross. We in the clutch, baby. Hey! Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, of the bitch today, you feel me? All right, we're going to check out I Investigated the Murder Capital of America. Who requested now, this, man? Somebody requested this on our last live. I forgot who you were. But, okay. Um, this is yeah. a very interesting one. Let us know which cities y'all think are the murder capital of America. I when I, I said New Orleans before the video started. New Orleans. I'm thinking of New Orleans. I'm thinking of Chicago. Uh, murder capital? Mm, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm sure. Mm. I mean, mm. maybe not as much now, but yeah, maybe. I think it's still very uh, bad. St. Louis, definitely. Baltimore, definitely. Shit, Houston may be get, getting up on that list soon, too. Um, LA, I, I think it's not as bad. It's not as bad. Um, maybe I ain't saying the same, the right city. Someone said Mississippi, San Fran. I don't know about San Fran. I don't know about that one. DC, I've, I've heard some wild stuff <laughs> be happening in DC, New York. That may sound uh, that sound potentially about Memphis, right. Memphis, yeah. Memphis. Yep, Memphis. Yeah, Memphis definitely. All right, well, y'all listed some of the cities y'all think is uh, the murder capital of America, or probably high on that list. Baton Rouge for sure, in Jacksonville. This nigga said Sugarland. <laughs> no, but Jacksonville, Florida for sure. Uh, Baton Rouge, definitely for sure. Louisiana All right, let's... is a whole bro. Cause on the cool, on the cool. Nothing else to do out there. Someone said Alaska, and the only thing they got to worry about there is fucking the cold killing them. Keeping warm. <laughs> Frostbite. Facts. All right, let's do it. This is New Orleans, the murder capital of America. What's the biggest problem out here in New Orleans? Damn. It's like we walk in. Oh, Hold on. Hell, just that freaking scary. I mean, Hold on. Pause. Always. What? You ain't see what he just said? Huh? Go back to the beginning. This is New Orleans, the murder Hold capital of America. Hold on, bro. We starting America. off like this. What's the biggest problem out here in New Orleans? <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, Dog, Lord. he went. I was not even paying attention, y'all. Holy. I was not paying attention. Damn. Hell no. Damn, bro. Man. He just outright just <sighs> hard ER, too. Jesus Christ. Someone said nuke it. <laughs> Here we go. It's like we walk in on eggshells. Is that freaking scary? I mean, the f the always. You shot what? eight times? Twice in both of my arm, twice in both of my leg, one in my chest, you know? Check the move. New Orleans now holds the record as the murder capital ah. of the nation. But why is everyone killing each other? And what can be done to fix it? I met up with a local rapper, Noon Orleans, to find out. I mean, anywhere in New Orleans is the jungle. It happens anywhere. Why he's sitting at the Kidnapping, back? Kidnapping, call jacking, all of the above. If I were to leave my car parked out here with the keys in it, it wouldn't be out here for an hour. Really? I guarantee you that. And 10 minutes. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Fam, mm -hmm. it's some videos Damn. we don't need, bro. Just, just. Mm -mm, I'm good, bro. So many Hell. videos, like, nah, bro. Just. Hell no. Nah. It's in. We stumbled upon Ooh. a murder scene where someone was killed just last night. How long you been out here in New Orleans? Oh, man. Somebody got killed around the Oh. Said someone just got killed right around the corner. That's what he just said. Someone was literally murdered right here. Yeah, I don't know what specific spot, but when I came through, I saw the f***ing police cars from like right there. Did you see a murder scene out here? I did see the police out here. I didn't see if anything happened. Bro. Okay. How is it living out here? It's not bad. Okay. When you go for a walk at night, you looking behind your shoulder or what? I don't usually walk at night though. Has New yeah, Orleans gotten right. more dangerous over the years? No. Yeah, very dangerous. It's wicked in this street, bro. What do you mean by that? Hey, you gotta keep a pole. You know it's the murder capital of America? You're right. Check the news. You can oh, see. I see the news. Yeah. We be strapped out here. Y'all not strapped? Did you see anyone get killed out here? That nigga said, Y'all not strapped? This nigga, <laughs> y'all tripping, bro. You out here doing videos and you ain't strapped? Yeah. Hey, man. What you doing there with that camera over there, white boy? Yeah. You heard me? What you doing over there? Damn, nah, bro. I'm Come over here, baby. We finna yeah, show you nah. a little time, man. Nah, 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 nah. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, I seen that growing up all my life. I probably seen my first shooting when I was maybe like five or six. Just walking up the street, walking around the corner to my mama's house, seeing if she got out work. And I seen a dude, he just put out a gun and told him, like, 
Where my twenty dollars at? And he shot at him over twenty dollars. Scary out here. Scary out here. It's Sounds about right. Scary. It's what do you mean by that? You never know when you're gonna get mugged. You never know when you're gonna get jacked. I mean, it's like we walking on eggshells. It's that freaking scary. You yeah. scared to come out your door. I mean, it's just scary. I'm gonna do that. All right. The crazy part is a lot of these cycles stem from the 90s and shit, bro. A lot of these kids don't know why they fight. But back then, even if they was killers, they had morals, they had principles. You know what I'm saying? Nobody didn't kill children. They'll call and tell you, we about to come around there for you. Put the kids and the ladies inside. Put the women inside. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We coming for kidnapping, call jacking. My bad, but I mean, that was... That was that was how it was back then. Not to say that it was, was still right. wrong, but at least but they was like trying to. It was a cold. It was a cold back then, bro. Like women and children, it was it was a no go. But now that cold, there's no such thing as a cold. It's if you there, you hey. If the bullet's not named, if it's not meant for you, better not be there. And if bro, it hits you, not my fault. That's so y'all gotta y'all gotta understand. That's I know we can get to the video. So just imagine growing up in the hood and then Katrina happening. Yep. And then now you got New Orleans people in Houston. Yep. And then you got people talking about some starting to talk shit and talking about, oh, this new Houston. Mm -hmm. That's all I got to say. Yep. It was a lot of, ooh, a lot of unnecessary mm -hmm. violence happening in the city for sure mm -hmm. it's killers they had morals they had principles you know what i'm saying <laughs> nobody didn't kill children they'll call and tell you we about to come around there for you put the kids and the ladies inside put the women inside <laughs> yeah. you know what i'm saying we coming for you me and you we can meet in the middle of the street be lucky to graduate for real. a lot of people from when i was in middle school they're not here with me today you feel me yeah. that's what another thing i learned a lot of the kids that be innocent they they could die too yeah. it could be anybody for real. It, you don't gotta yep. just be in those streets gang on yep. road. the first yeah. time somebody pull a gun on me i was nine years old bro and it wasn't even a killer, it was the police. So it's like from those type of experience, you learn how to approach life from staring on the barrel of his gun. You feel what I'm saying? We just playing basketball. My brother-in-law, bro, yeah. long live Joshua Adams. He was killed by the police department and he wasn't doing nothing. My sister was giving birth to his son. You dig? Yeah. He never got to meet his son. He left the hospital to go get my sister slippers. You feel what I'm saying? While she was delivering their baby. Didn't make it back to the hospital to see his son get born. The police told yes. me, you feel me, they killed me. They left me for dead, but why the fuck would you doubt me? I come from you gotta put a bar in there. Pit. Bills as a child, never knew shit about allowance. This ain't for fortune and fame. This from the torture and pain. Before this mic made me sane, I wore this all on my brain. Some of my bitches just changed. No, they gon' pack up your funeral. That's why I ride with the Glock. Young niggas dying from cops. Put all my faith in the Lord, cause you could die with a cop. That was crazy. You just Damn. definitely a whole social commentary in that rap. If it don't come from the heart, oh. it ain't Noon Orleans. Whoa. I Damn. then learned why New Orleans got into rapping in the crazy, first place. Bro. And how crime and violence has impacted them. I learned how to write rap. Because my pops was incarcerated my entire life bro, up until I graduated high school. And Damn. I had to learn how to write letters to him. That's how we communicated. A year and a half ago, that started like a, a series of funerals for me. That's I went crazy. to over 10 funerals from some of the closest people that I love. We Damn. swoop shit under the rug, take it on our chin and go. That we numb the violence. You know, you got a lot like that fentanyl. Shit. I lost like three or four friends from fentanyl overdoses this year. Crime, <laughs> violence, Damn. gangs, and drug and seem to be baked into the culture here. And so we headed to the infamous Chef Street, known for prostitution oh, and showing no. the lengths people go to make hey, money. Yo. Hey, yo! Hey, man, what you doing over there, bro? Man, if you don't take your ass home, bro. You look anyway. like the dude that started off the video. Get oh, out of here. Prostitution goes down, women are selling their bodies on the streets. But a lot of them do have like pimps and shit. Yeah, dangerous out there. And it's protected, they, they shoot behind the holes. Actually? Yep. That's a fact, bro. Nine times out of 10, they do have somebody with them. They protected by somebody in New Orleans. Females not just gonna be on them. No. Oh yeah, no, there's somebody there. Yeah. There's somebody's there. And either you gonna pay up, and I'm gonna leave it out alone. Yep. Well, buddy, so. That chick right there, found one. What are you doing out here today? You working out here? I mean, I got niggas, yeah. What does I that mean? I wouldn't say I'm, the, I'm like, I wouldn't call me a hoe. See, you wouldn't either. No, I'm niggas. not calling you a hoe. Yeah, 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 no. yeah, I know I got hella niggas and stuff, but um, yeah, I just got niggas. I got a lot of niggas. What do you mean by that? No, that's like trying to ask me my body count. No, I'm not asking about it. These are my classmates. Like, okay. these are people I went to school with. So you've been... Um, You've been fing them for that long? Is that what's going on? I mean, yeah. I mean, I've been fing since I've been like 15. Oh, no, I'm really not whoa, a hoe. I'm really whoa. like a wife type, really like. 
No, I'm oh, a wife. No. <sighs> it's it. Uh, that uh, people can change. I'm not reading I'm not comments. Gonna, I'm not reading yeah. comments. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. But swallow. but people can change. But <laughs> you can say this whole trip. Nah, people Come can on, change, bro. bro. This nigga said this whole trip. Look, bro. <laughs> people can change, bro. That people. is wild. Fam. But people gotta want to change, and that's the difference. Gotta really want that. It's just people be born into these unfortunate cir- circumstances, and true. She said, "I'm a wife." Well, uh, all right. To the streets. Yeah. Like, like I got, I got. You know, a hood random baby. Bobby, chill, go, fam. And I got my older nigga always. He really my baby daddy. Well, any last words about New Orleans? I mean, the food always good, dick good always. Everything. I hear you the best for uh, this street. Ra- oh, this here comes this racist fucker, yeah, bro. This motherfucker right here. Right now, known for like prostitution. Certain sections of it. Yeah. They try to run them off if they come back. What's the biggest problem out here in New Orleans from your perspective? I don't know if I'd want to say. What do you mean? The, uh... The capital of the nation. Oh, no, the no, no. New Orleans. I wasn't even trying to do that. Crack his ass, bro. Uh, bro I, Act I, like I, he ain't even want to say it. Man, you know, you, you couldn't my, wait to my say it. My fence clenched up. My fence clenched up. His lip was getting moist ready to say Damn, that shit, right? man. It just would've, you just would have seen a random nigga. I don't want to say. Like, what? You couldn't wait. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? Look at him. The, uh, he looked right at the camera because he knew. Yeah? Like, <laughs> yeah, you see that swerving up there. Yeah. They don't give a fuck. They want everything for free. Is there conflict between blacks and whites out here? Wow. All the time. Like I said, they want everything for free. Because their great great grandfather was a slave. You know, if you give them an inch, they want a mile. Do you think people would agree with you? Hey, bro. <laughs> what can you do about it? Uh, I wouldn't want to say. What would you say? No, I wouldn't. I can't say. Hey, that. Already... Yeah, you a pussy, that's why. You a, Man. You a fucking pussy. Somebody bro. to crack his motherfucking muffin, bro. You a pussy. Nah, stand on your business. Say what yeah, you want. Yeah, say what the hell you think is going. Let's let's see your old ass do it then. Yeah. Let's let's see your yeah. old ass go do whatever it is that you saying you want to see happen. You get yeah. your ass out here and do it then. Watch somebody pack your ass up. Yeah, bro. We ain't got time for you in that bum ass truck. You in? Yeah, we're not gonna take it, truck. That's what I call it. The we're not gonna take it. Man, it's cool. It's cool. People like that, they get dealt with one way or another. They always get dealt with. You got to answer to somebody when your time comes. So if you got that hate in your heart for a certain group of individuals, for whatever reason, you want the answer to that when it's time. That's just wild, bro. Time to meet people, man. That's why people with them, that mentality just fading off. You know, like that's. Oh, no, yeah. And and that, what people fail to realize, it's it's not as bad as it used to be. I do like progressiveness of. Certain things, not everything, but certain things of how the world has changed. You see it less and less and less and less because the world is more being molded into be more inclusive of everybody. Can things be much better? Of course. But it's not as bad as what it was when we was growing up. You know what I'm saying? And Facts. what it was when my, our parents and our grandparents were growing up. Which is you true. Like this, and it's crazy, bro, for somebody, to, I ain't trying to stay on this, but. For somebody yeah. to just talk so loosely about people's lives, I was really, you know what I'm saying, torn and just, people had to live through some of the most rigorous shit, fam, mm-hmm. just for their the skin color. Facts. We ain't even Facts. talking about sexuality. Now. We just talking about just your, nigga, you can choose to be gay or anything else. You can't, I mean, bro, I didn't choose to be light-skinned or anything. Like, bro, you have no choice in that. So to, to, to demonize somebody and torture them, and we know the fucking history. Yeah. Yep. He's just but, talking so loosely about it. He that's smiling cool. and shit. He's talking loosely because he feel comfortable because someone of his skin complexion. But we know he wouldn't have set that shit around anybody else because he's pussy. That's why he's he, looking around. Yeah, he mm-hmm. pussy, bro. It's mm-hmm. okay. I said too much. Just, just be honest with me. I said, "What's the biggest problem out here?" Mm-hmm. He said, "N word." Oh. Like, hey.
Yeah, I might have been some trouble, Bro. Right? Yeah, I'm... Thank you. Thank right, you. Nigga, cause, cause, would have beat his ass, bro. What you say? On site. Bro, I would beat the shit out of you, old man. Have your pacemaker acting up. Fuck wrong with you, bro. Let me, the stop. Pacemaker, let me bro. stop, bro. <laughs> let me stop. Let me stop. I'm part of the problem, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. Sometimes some people need that shit, bro. Oh, Natural bro. selection, bro. Bro. Man, all right, man. I'm glad I ain't calling. I, I didn't know how to respond. I was like, damn. Yeah, but he that's out on camera, yeah. yeah. He gonna get himself up. From the outside looking <laughs> in, it was right. easy. <laughs> they didn't bleep, they ain't bleep that shit. That nigga, he on that house with somebody. He did here. bleep it. Well, he bleeped out the words, but nigga saw his face, though. I'm sure somebody know him out there in New Orleans. You may have seen this video. Hey, Jim Bone. Yeah. You, this you, you? This you? Oh. Oh. You got, right. you got something that you will do to us, but you ain't say? Oh, oh okay. it's that bad? Oh, check yeah. this out. <laughs> well, that's That would have been the last thing he would have heard. Come on, step outside. No, nah, I don't want to step outside or we're going to make you come outside. Don't worry. You're going to come outside. <laughs> this video probably put him in danger, too, though, low key. <laughs> Oh, oh well. We need to judge these working girls, but New Orleans emphasized that people out here were doing anything to survive. It's, it's mandatory that you hustle in the city of New Orleans, or you're not gonna survive. There's no resources, there's nobody coming to save you. So, I'm 18 years old, I need a job. What am I doing? Are you robbing somebody, kid? Okay, it's sad to see. Yeah, it's kids yeah. making bad decisions. Yeah. Right? I wouldn't consider none of them as being evil, but you know, the government, society, whoever, the, the, the judicial system, they'll paint you as that as a child. But for the majority, man, all these kids really needed somebody to talk to. If I pissed off the wrong person out here on the road, what are the chances they're strapped and they'd be willing to shoot me? It's over a 75% chance they'd be strapped. I mean, I'm going to shoot you out here. As we drove through New Orleans, I noticed a lot of these buildings looked damaged or destroyed. That's life in New Orleans right there. Apparently, this was the aftermath of Hurricane uh -huh. Katrina that hit mm -hmm. New Orleans in 2005, destroying homes, businesses, the city, and countless lives. But I wondered how the trauma from Katrina impacted and developed the next generation of criminals who grew up in these shelters and experienced it all as kids. We lived in shelters and experienced homelessness at a different level than any other American. I was sleeping yeah. in abandoned houses myself. They ain't really I know where to sleep. It was get in where you fit in for hotel. Damn. We got a lot of these rundown buildings on this side of the city. We're in the east right now. So they grew up thinking they was at war. When they woke up living in them shelters and shit like that, people got guns pointed at them. They just trying to go use the restroom. I'm talking about little girls have to take a shower in the same place as a grown man have to take a shower. And I know if he's a pedophile or his background or anything. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So growing up in them type of conditions are, are scar you Yeah, bro, I remember that, bro. Yeah, he is like everything. You got to learn how to live again. Your whole life just wiped away in a matter of a moment. It was one of the worst experiences ever. Yeah. You dig? Seeing dead people, not knowing where your family was at the time. Has New Orleans recovered from that since? No, we recovering, but we haven't fully recovered. Following Katrina, many people are trying to recover and rebuild their city through starting their own businesses and turning their culture and history into a positive opportunity. I met up with the owner of Chicken and Watermelon to understand how important entrepreneurship Chicken and is watermelon. the future of New Orleans. I think the most. That name is, that name is so... So wild, bro. I, uh, it's, it's black as hell. Chicken man. and watermelon. <laughs> it don't make it right while niggas be like, you goddamn, you know what? But damn, bro. The Chicken ch and watermelon, bro. Chicken and watermelon. Just fuck it. We gonna embrace the stereotype. I mean, it did sound kind of, <laughs> sound kind of good, man. I ain't gonna hold you. Just, <laughs> Is this here? Yeah, chicken and watermelon. And where did the name come from? It's, it's kind of funny. I'm gonna say it like this. Back in the day, they raised chickens, they sold watermelons. Yeah. They just put a bad connotation on it to make it seem like it's a bad thing, but this, you know, this is how you get wealthy. How, how important is entrepreneurship mm. and business ownership for the youth? It's got year? a business. Man, if you really want to yeah. be successful in life, start your own business. The education is dumbed down. The charter schools, they dumbed down. They ain't trying to teach the kids nothing. And if you talk to the kids, they slow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm trying to inspire the kids, man. They ain't just about school. Hmm. What they say, Ross? I know, I know. Trying to teach the kids nothing. And if you talk to the kids, they slow. <laughs> This year's school's got D's or F's. But I thought D's were passing grades. I just wanted to see real quick. Yeah. The, the people okay. we was talking. The people that we were saying was slow. Yeah. Got you. That's, you, you, see what, you see what a D gets you? Mm-hmm. You might as well just get an F. But okay. D stands for dumbass. Exactly. <laughs> and F stands for failure. 
Exactly. There we a go. Dumbass bro. failure. Failure, bro. There we go. All right. Come on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, but I'm trying to inspire the kids, man. It ain't just about school. You still take that, that hustle mentality and change to something else and learn as you go. There's all kinds of ways to hustle, man. You got to find something to sell, not drugs. I love how he's turning that negative stereotype into a positive like business opportunity. Yeah, What's your name, man? I'm Josh. Josh, my name's Tyler. This is the ball of a shop. How long have you had this place? Going on, what, four years now? How important is it having a hustle out here in New Orleans? Very important. Yeah. If you look at the city right now, only certain parts of the city is built back. Post Katrina, right? You will be seeing that, OK, there's not really much for a lot of New Orleanians to do because the city is lacking resources. L look at the record labels. We haven't got no record labels in New Orleans. Think about it. Kids just won't have fun. I think it starts with us teaching the kids and, like, fighting for the future. Of the kids. It was mm. obvious that the hope to break the Don't cycle of violence was in the next generation of kids, yeah, with their idols stupid. being drill rappers talking about gang violence and murdering each other. Oops. We met up with an up-and-coming rapper who wanted to emphasize that the gang life is no joke. What's your name? Three. Are you gonna spit some bars for us? Yeah, I got you. I got okay. you. The stage is yours, man. Boy, my trap go crazy. Your shit moving and nigga, you lazy. I run it up to my mama, I made it. Try to take something you bring on the pavement. Niggas be bitches, they don't want to smoke. Try to take something that glitter I told. Trying to control my ain't a remote. I was down on my dick. I was crying for hope. Bells and bells and bells and bells. I run it up trying to get to the riches. I'm in my bag and they deep in their feelings. I ain't trying to talk, let niggas just listen. Slide on these block, niggas better be cool. I just want f I ain't trying to be rude. Head shop, you know where I'm at, no leg shop. Ain't for the neck and everything out of the head. You boys can freestyle. I just wish he would put the beat over, just let him freestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just it. take the beat off. He tried, he tried, but nah. That's that's all I'm saying. Like, I don't have a problem with what he was just, saying. Just it's, kill it's, the beat. Yeah, it's just killed out the beat. I have no problem with what he was saying. I think I'm pretty sure if they would have took the beat out, it probably would have sound. Ten times and, and I'm tired of every rapper, every upcoming. When somebody knows somebody's an upcoming rapper, they tell you to rap. No, yeah. nigga. Yeah. Why I gotta rap? You just go buy my mixtape or album, whatever it is coming out. Stop putting me on the spot just because I play basketball. I mean, I'm just gonna grab a ball and shoot a three pointer in the middle of anywhere. Like <laughs> facts. Bro. I kind of get tired of seeing that life story coming into to bars out here. No. How many times you got hit, bro? Eight times. Eight twice in my, bro. twice in both of my arm, twice in both of my leg, one in my chest. You remember? You been shot Damn. eight times? Yeah. Holy sh! Thank God you're alive. Who, who shot you? I don't know. Is it that dangerous out here? Yeah. You, you don't know. Did the shoot yeah, you know. here? Yeah, just wrong place, wrong time, yeah. bro. How close is this was to your heart? Two, three inches. You remember? Oh. I was blessed by two, three inches. Okay, you have a kid? Damn. I got three. You got three? Yeah. They Damn. inspire you to keep going and just keep yeah. fighting for this dream. Most deaf, I got a little girl on the way here, man. Do you think the music impacts the next generation of kids in a bad way at all? Yeah, yeah, most deaf, most deaf. That, that ties into what I be telling my little young boys. Like, y'all don't got to do this because y'all see another nigga doing that shit, you hear me? Yeah. You hear me say they watch a music video, everybody in a music video throwing Dracos and Glocks and switches in the camera and shit. When they grow up, they gonna feel the need to like, when I make me a music video, finally make me a music video, you hear me? I gotta give me a Draco, I gotta give me a Glock with a switch and all that. No, you don't need that shit, bro. To all the young boys, y'all ain't gotta do that shit. Nine to five, just as good as hustling. Sliding on the mm. clock, just as good as sliding on a block, brother. There we go. Hey, now that was a bar. Sliding yeah. on the <laughs> clock is just as good as sliding on the block. block. Yeah, bro, I got, man. Hey, yo. He ain't, ain't got to be out here in these streets because it only ends you, you usually with you getting killed or you going to jail. That's it. Like, you got to start looking at what is the success rate of this yeah. thing that I've been so intrigued and we grew up. Like, bro, we grew up in that. And I seen it wasn't no success rate in that shit at all. No. Nah. Like, seeing homies getting sent to jail and all that, young. Fam, it, bro, what am I going to go get locked up? behind four walls for the rest of my life or just okay. getting killed because another nigga told me to go do something. Yeah, nah, bro. It nah, ain't even bro. worth it, bro. It's not. The nine to five will always be better than out there in the streets, bro. Don't nine let nobody else tell you different. We've got a better chance of keeping you alive. And it's Fact. That's a bar. No cap. <laughs> not everyone is as lucky as him, and a lot of people die due to gun violence. With murders happening every day, countless kids are left without strong parental figures, get raised by the streets, live a life mm -hmm. of crime, have a few kids, get locked up, and the cycle of violence and crime continues. Yeah, you gotta break them, them curses, man. It be like generational curses that we still be carrying on, family fighting, and people not speaking to each other the kids are the future it's starts teaching them taking them now and molding them 
and giving them opportunities that we never had because it's way easier than it was back then. We didn't have the resources, you know. So Noon took us to a local middle school that his buddy taught at. That's goal was to give these kids a safe place to learn and build skills for the future without having to turn to the streets to make money. If you fill these kids time with something positive, then they don't have time to do anything negative. The more knowledge these kids have, the more power they have. They don't realize how great they can truly be. Um, we have mm -hmm. music, art, we have culinary. If I know my kids That's dope. in my band room mm -hmm. playing the horn, I know they're not in somebody's car stealing their stuff. You guys want to be producers? So I get them to send it to That's me and I tough, listen. Bro. I'd be like, man, it's crazy how creative they is. Wait a minute, like, bro. I so think I know him, bro. Oh, shit. I went to PV with him, bro. Oh, for real? Oh, yeah. I forgot his day. I was like, bro. Oh, you ain't no real one. Oh, I was going to say he looked like Joe, but. Dog, yeah, yeah. Oh, bro. Ah, oh, he came in with us in 09, bro. He, uh, dog. That's crazy. Because he's from New Orleans. Oh, that's crazy, that's bro. I'm I didn't to know. figure out who it is. I'm gonna take my yeah, I got to. I'm going to hit up my homie Joe, bro. Because he, because <laughs> I remember he would, he stayed in bed for a little bit. Then he left and he started doing producing, like music and stuff like that. So I, I just remember that he, he was from New Orleans or whatnot, and he was telling us all the stories of stuff he'd been through. So it's cool to see that he's doing this. Oh, that's, that's dope, man. fucking awesome, bro. What are the odds of that, man? You, you seeing one of the homies. <laughs> that's so cool, bro. I'm proud of him, man. Well, you see um, he out there trying to make a difference, bro. So That's fucking, man. I love to see it, bro. PV breed some, uh, some, some real Productive ones. Productive people, man. I love For that, sure. bro. I try to give him in that class the space to really just open up creatively and just yeah. let they, you know, let everything flow. You feel like this is like a home away from home? Yeah, because it got me a lot of stuff. The reason why this band is important because this gives the kids a lot of opportunity to basically like get away from a lot of different things that they, uh -huh. you know, these kids go It makes love. sense. I had kids right. over the summer lost parents, kids that go home probably didn't eat at night. This band is like an outlet for them to like basically Get away from <laughs> oh, look at him just before I left in the background. Proud band teacher wanted to show right. me the talent and dedication these kids had, but only after a little discipline. I'm gonna be real with y'all. As your band director, I'm getting a little aggravated. I'm gonna have to just start putting y'all out of the band. Say, bro, you come to school to learn. All this other side stuff, some of y'all just too many follow. If you want to follow something, why you don't follow the good things in life? Hmm. Like, seriously, y'all going to follow everything negative. Nothing positive, but everything negative. Because it's starting to, y'all starting to put other kids in danger or stuff. You don't care about the next man. You're selfish. Get your mind right. Too many of y'all in the hallway. For what? You come to school to learn, man. A dog, you have to start taking this education stuff serious. Open it up. Bang horns up. That's dope, bro. That's cool. Despite the traumatic backgrounds and unstable the homes a lot of these kids probably have, a good school system and a teacher that actually they cares might them. be enough to break the cycle. You know, that's my section, baby. There you that go. It's very, very important that's that somebody right. stay on them because nobody else may not be on them. So we're making better people yeah. for the society, for the next generation. Subscribe to Tyler. Hell yeah. Hey. Hold this man up, run his numbers up on the streaming services. I want to see this man with 100K subscribers by the end of the day. Noon Orleans with a Z. Also, whoever has the most viewed TikTok or That's YouTube tough, short bro. using a clip. For man, this is it's, it's good to see Love to people see you, out man. there, you know what I'm saying, making a big impact. Hey, shout out to, to the homie, bro. I'm definitely going to hit up Joe, uh, see if he's been in contact with him. Cause I hadn't seen him in years, but mm -hmm. it's good to see, you know what I'm saying, someone I, you know, actually know out there doing something for the community in a positive way and giving back to where he grew up at, man. That shit's For awesome, sure. bro. Yeah. Fucking love and, that shit. And something that y'all, you know, shared interest in. You yeah, know what that, I'm saying? You able, to put, you able to put what you like and teach that to other kids to keep them out the streets. Facts, so, man. That was yeah. there was a positive uh, silver lining in this video, man. And I, that's all that matters, bro. Yeah. Out of all the negativity, bro, we just got to come together, band together, man, and try to understand that the kids of the future um let's learn how to be good examples role models families need to stop splitting up people need to start communicating better we can handle things 
better without always having the results of violence. You know what I'm saying? Like sure, we're, sure. we're we're better than that, man. So uh love everybody that checked out the video, man. If you appreciate it and learned something from it, make sure you comment down below what it was, what else you want us to check out, man. Keep on supporting us. That's why we always say, bro, spread love and be loved. Don't just quote that. Fact. Just one of them quotables. Live in that. You feel me? Catch y'all in the next one. Peace out. Already. This bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.